Hello, beach friends. Today, I am finally, this is a project I've been wanting to tackle for quite some time. So obviously, is it a picture frame? And I happen to just love white seashells. I just love them. So I have been amassing some seashells here that I'm going to use. Oh, oh. so yeah, sometimes I'll put the broken stuff. That's what I do with some of the things I bring home. Sometimes they're broken. Anyway, so I have this pile of white shells that I'm going to get onto this frame. Now, I'm going to, I guess the design, I do want to have it so you can use it either vertically or horizontally. So what I'm gonna do, similar to the other frame I made, is I'm gonna put a sand dollar here and I'm just gonna kind of put all the different seashells in uh, one of the corners. Now, I'm gonna use hot glue because my friend Ginger, she uh, made something for the hurricane auction and she glued bay scallops onto glass. So I'm going to use hot glue to glue the seashells onto the frame. Um, yeah, and so that's that's the equipment I have. I have this um, frame picked up at a thrift store and the glass goes over the mat part here. So I will be gluing stuff onto the glass and then also onto the frame. I got my sand dollar. I got some pearls because I do like a little bit of bling and then the seashells. So I'm just gonna kind of position things, see how I like it and start gluing stuff in. Okay, I think I'm already determining something. I am probably not going to put the shells onto the frame. I think it's gonna, it's not gonna look as symmetrical as I would like. So I'm probably, as I'm doing this, um, I'm probably just gonna stick to shells being on the actual frame. So I'm gonna kind of keep going. I haven't glued anything down yet, um, but kind of keep trying to place things and see if I can figure out exactly what I want. All right, what I think I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna start gluing the stuff down. I do like a layered look and I think I kind of have most of the bigger shells figured out. So I'm just gonna start gluing stuff down and then coming back and probably just kind of layering onto it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the gluing. I love making these things. These things are really fun. So I've glued down most of this. Most of this stuff is glued down and I just needed the right something to kind of anchor that so i went and i found a uh, a crown a white crown conch because i have a, a bowl of, i think i have a bowl of white shells and so i procured this from there i think that's going to look great so just a little quick check-in i am just going to continue at this point to doing what i'm doing put the shells down and glue okay so everything has been glued down i'm pretty happy with it let's take a look let me step back now I'm gonna see if I have any other little things that I do wanna like tuck in. So I might tuck in a few other little tiny ones and then I'm gonna add the pearls to it. So that's really gonna kinda finish it off with that little bit of, of beach bling. So I'll be back in a minute. Let me add a couple more tiny shells and some pearls. All right, it is finally done, or at least it's to the point. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. So what I've discovered, or what I, I think makes sense, is to use hot glue to get that first, that bottom base of things in on, and then use the E6000 to put the things on top. Um, I was burning myself uh, trying to get these little pearls and getting the glue on the pearls and all that. You know, I did have tongs, but at the end of the day, it just makes a lot more sense to use something that's not going to burn you. So... I used the, like I said, hot glue and then the E6000 and then just one more thing I'd like to do and then I'm going to call this completed. Okay, now it's completed. Shooting things with glass in it is so hard because of all the reflections, but there's this photo that I took of a boat on Sanibel. When I, when I first got here, like it was only here for a couple of weeks and so it's kind of special to me. So I did finish this frame. Someone gave me the tip of using a um, the hair dryer on hot to kind of melt any of the little strings that might be left over from the um, E6000 or the hot glue. So thank you for everyone with your, your little tips and tricks. So 
that's it. That's the frame. You can find it on Etsy. I'm not going to keep this one. So if you would like to actually purchase this, you can head on over to my Etsy store. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description box below. And if you want to see how I find some of these seashells, here are two recent videos I made that were so fun. So I do encourage you to watch those and maybe even subscribe. Thanks so much.